What is going on guys? We are back with another video. You guys see the title. We're actually been talking about free to play versus pay to play. And the reason why I'm making this video is that my boy, the first award, if you want to check him out, please go ahead and check him out. Link is down below in the description of the channel. He dropped a video beating Boss Rush Stage 1 and 2, 100% free to play. And I was actually watching the video and I was actually going through the comments and I saw him getting quite a bit of flag for bringing an LR Broly friend. So I thought, why not bring this video out to kind of, you know, uh, put my two cents into what is free to play versus pay to play because the, the, the debate has been going on since probably the inception of the game of what is true free to play. Uh, could you bring summonable world tournament cards? Um, is Baba Shop cards considered free to play? If you don't put money into the game but you actually use the stones that the game gives you and you pull certain SRs off of Gosha Summons, which would be the stone banners, is that considered free to play? I'm going to break down what free to play is supposed to be considered as and I'm going to try to debate with you guys on what the fandom or what uh, the Dokken Battle community or the other players or whoever is just a casual Dokken Battle player consider what free to play is. So anyways guys, so free to play, pretty much if you don't put stones into getting an SSR or any card in the game, that's free to play. So any farmable card that you can farm any event of, uh, being any of the super strike cards, you know, um, super strike cards of course is like uh, the fight and skinny tanks, uh, Grandpa Gohan, uh, there's that tech piccolo. All those are considered free to play because you don't put stones into getting those cards. You farm the cards, you acquire the cards, and you have those cards, guys. Another free to play unit that we can talk about is actually the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku from the uh, Epic Showdown event. You can farm him from his base form R card all the way up to a TUR Super Saiyan 3 card. Now, that is a very powerful free to play card because he actually has a first battle status and he actually has a pretty good uh, leadership ability, but that is considered free to play because you farm him. Now, free to play. In terms of the world tournament cards, I can understand why people debate it because it is a chance to get a card, okay? So you may not be putting actual stones into the uh, world tournament ticket banner. Um, you know, this this also involves the um, uh, the uh, guaranteed SR banner, the world tournament, the uh, world tournament guaranteed SR banner. Uh, on that banner, it has the feature world tournament cards and it has regular SSRs in the world tournament pool. You can do that. And there's actually the Dragon Ball Saga banner, which you can summon the Dragon Balls, um, the Dragon Ball characters. That is, of course, the um, uh, the, the STR Kamehameha Goku, uh, Kid Goku, the Great Ape AGL Kid Goku, um, the STR Giant Ape Piccolo. All those cards that you can summon on the Dragon Ball uh, Saga banner. People say those aren't free to play because it's a rule that chance is a chance for you to get the card, and it's not guaranteed. For it to be free to play, it has to be a guaranteed card that you get, and if it's summonable, then it's not free to play. I debated saying that I believe those cards I want to consider almost demi free to play because you can easily get them without putting money into the game. You can farm the stones that the game provides you, do the world tournament, grind, uh, get your tickets, rank to top 10,000. You're guaranteed one of the uh, world tournament cards at top 10,000. It just requires a bit of grinding, requires a bit of stones. If you use the stones that the game provides you with, being if you farm stones from the story event or if you save a stone from login bonuses. Use those stones to, ref uh, to refill your stamina and get the top 10,000. You didn't put money into the game, but you got that SSR. So, in a sense, that is free to play, and that SSR acquired will be free to play. But because because you have to put stones into refilling stamina to get to a rank which is at 10,000, because typically you're not going to get to rank 10,000 just waiting for stamina to refill. Because these days, the retirement can be pretty competitive with the amount of people we have playing the game. So it's very unlikely for you to get the top 10,000 in the world tournament with a guaranteed chance of getting that SR unit without putting some stones into refilling your stamina. So you pretty much have to uh, refill your stamina with stones. But even if you do put money into buying stones to refill your stamina, you didn't pay for the actual SSR, you just paid to, ref you just paid to refill your stamina. At that point, you can be doing the same thing in terms of farming a super strike. If you happen to need to refill your stamina to farm a super strike card because the drop rate for you is bad for whatever reason, because some of the rates are pretty bad actually. And use stones to refresh down, and that's pretty much the same concept you can apply to the World Tournament. The World Tournament is just, you know, you need to have a fixed number in the World Tournament to guarantee yourself an SR. And it's not given to everyone. So unlike Super Strike cards, which anyone can farm, not anyone can get the World Tournament cards because it's a ten it's a ten thousand and up chance for you to get that. Well not chance, but if you come in top top ten thousand you guarantee the card exactly. Uh, now if you're not guaranteed if you don't have if you didn't get top ten thousand in the World Tournament, uh, they actually give you gotcha tickets. So you can actually use the tickets to go into the banner, which would be the World Tournament banner, to give yourself a chance to pull that card. Now, I consider this as kind of demi free to play. It's still free to play because once again, you aren't putting money into the actual banner. You're just using stones for your stamina, 
using tickets that the game gives you because based on whatever rank you achieve, they give you the amount of tickets that you deserve or whatnot. Use those tickets to pull the card, and that is free. You know, you don't put money into getting those cards. Uh, it's a chance to get whatever cards on the banner. That's unfortunate. Of course, you can't pick and choose whatever you get, but you didn't put money into the banner in terms of buying stones to summon for the actual unit. You just had to refill your stamina, which in that case, if you're going to argue with me that refilling your stamina is not free to play, then Super Strike cards aren't free to play. You know? You know? So, I'm going to say, and I believe that World Tournament cards are free to play. Dragon Ball Saga Summon cards are free to play. Okay? Um, uh, we all know that Baba Shot cards, all the SSRs I sold in the Baba Shot, the Fizz Super Saiyan Angel Goku, the um, Intelligent Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan or Youth Gohan, those are free to play because you just farm the gems and you buy the SSR cards uh, from the Baba Shop with the gems. Very easy. Anyone can farm, so that's not even a debate. Uh, Baba Shop units that you can buy with actual Baba points, uh, being like um, like the full power Master Roshi. Uh, we have a pickle. We have a acrylic with a piccolo outfit. All free to play. Um, well, 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 well. It's actually kind of have a little side debate there. So they are free to play because you can actually buy them uh, with Baba points. Once again, not Dragon Stones, but to acquire the amount of Baba points you need now, you need, uh, on a discount, you need 21,000 Baba points to buy one of those SR that are in Baba Shop. <laughs> it is very, very unlikely for anyone to acquire 1,000 Baba points in the game over any fast period of time. You literally need to Baba your World Tournament SSRs to equate to that amount because there's no way, there's no way that you're not going to do any summons at all and just be 100% free to play and just have the cards the game provides you with. Bubble those cards and then eventually get to 21k. It can happen, but it's going to take you a long time of farming. Uh, there's certain things that the game give you, like I think the Tree of Might Metals. You can actually farm the hell of those and bubble those. You'll get bubble points, but it's going to take you quite a while. So, most likely you're going to be doing summons with stones. You're going to bubble the SRs you get from the summons. Then you're going to use those bubble points to buy yourself the bubble card shops that are bought with the bubble points. So, in that aspect, they are, I want to say, demi free to play as well. Uh, they kind of require you to sell SRs that are on summonable banners for you to purchase them because to get them on the ball points, once again, as just a free to play, never summoning is it's going to take a long time or just very highly unlikely, guys. So the bubble ones, I want to say demi. Now, another debate that we're going to dive into right now, guys. So, in terms of actual summonable cards that you actually use to uh, summon on for Dragon Stones now, being God banners. Uh, or any Doken Fest banner, uh, Super Vegito, Buhan banner, uh, Omega Shinron banner, any of the top tier cards that you use some that you want to get, you have to use stones for. The debate is, okay, is it free to play if I just use the stones that the game provides me with to get those cards? Or uh, is that free to play above me buying stones and just summoning the card? I'm going to say this, and a lot of people might not like it, but if you use the stones that the game provides you with, and you summon units and you happen to get the bounty units that's free to play free to play means you are free to play the game free to play is not attached to any individual card okay if you acquire a card by free means of not putting money into the card itself that's free to play so if you grant a story and you happen to summon on a banner that has any unit you know omega shinron whatever you get that card you obtain that card through free through our free to play methods the card itself might not be considered free to play because it's a gotcha chance and you have to uh, summon with stones and stones are typically bought. But technically, you acquire that card free to play. You can't use it on a team because people are going to say, oh, it's not a free to play card or whatever. Because it's not accessible to everyone. It's not. So that's more of an individual sense of free to play. Because if you acquire the card, that doesn't mean that everyone's going to acquire the card. So you're, um, you're an individual example of what free to play can be because you are a free to play player. You don't put money into the game, but you do have the cards. I get a lot, a lot of people uh, would comment or tweet me saying that, well, I don't put money into the game, but I have all the god cards. You're very lucky, and you happen to use all the stones in the game that the game provides you, and you just happen to pull these cards. You're very lucky, and you should appreciate that because not everyone will get that luck. Um, and, you know, of course, if you buy stones and summon, then that's not free to play because at that point, you are paid to play. You are paying money for the stones to then get the cards. Right, right off the bat, that's not free to play, guys. So, once again, going back to everything. Any farmable card is free to play. Super Strike, World Tournament, don't at me. Dragon Ball Saga, don't at me. Baba Shop, 
barbershop cards uh, in terms of the barbershop points free to play but let's be realistic you need to sell SSR, SRs or even SSRs to equate to those ball points and once again that's 20 uh, it's, it's cost it costs 21,000 ball points on a discount regular plate uh, well um, the regular prices are, are they 70k the regular prices are way higher Let's use JP for example. JP's Bubba Shop cards are a hundred thousand Bubba points. Fuck off! You are not going to acquire those points free to play. You're not. You're just not going to do it. Please tell me. Like you can farm as many uh, tree to tree of my metals as you want. That's a lot of farming to get to a hundred thousand without selling one S one SR from a summonable banner. Like, <laughs> wow. So you know the uh, the Bubba Shop. Uh, the Bob Shop uh, SRs that you get for the Bob Shop points. You know, like, yeah, they're free to play. You don't get them with stones. But to get the points, you might have to use stones to get the SRs to Bob them to get the points to then sell them. So it's kind of like, um, kind of like a photosynthesis type of thing where, you know, sun and water and the planet. I'm not going to get into all that. There's, there's a lot of, no, I don't want to get into all that, guys. But, you know, I'm just going to say they're free to play. For short debate, let's not get into any major details. Free to play, free to play, free to play. Uh, Incredible Gems SR free to play. Uh, if you want to argue with me, then no SSR in the game is free to play because you will eventually have to use stones to refill your stamina, to grind, to then have a chance to get the SR, the SR they're trying to drop from farmable means. So if you're going to argue with me about that, no card is free to play. If you understand what I'm saying, any card that is not used to acquire with stones, free to play. You use stones to acquire it, not free to play. But if you are grind the stones that the game provides with you happen to get the card and you are an individual free to play player anyways guys so that is the their outline clear and cut let's not fucking debate about it it's a gosh a game guys it's a mobile app i shouldn't have to make this video you guys shouldn't be so freaking anal just take it as is one more aspect one more aspect okay bringing a friend for free to play okay if you find an lr broly friend that's accessible to almost anyone if you find an lr broly um guest that's accessible to anyone. It doesn't matter if the person has a non-free-to-play card because anyone can pretty much bring an LR Broly friend or an LR Broly guest if they're available. If you do enough refreshing, you'll eventually see an LR Broly, a Super Vegito friend, uh, may, probably not a Fizz Broly friend because they're very unlikely uh, these days. But if you find one, that's considered free-to-play because you didn't put stones into having that friend. Anyone can have a friend as an LR, so that is all free to play. So don't ever debate someone if you bring an LR bully friend, they're not free. Come on, man, fuck off. Anyone can get an LR bully friend, anyway, guys. So, broken down, clear cut. Let's not go into any more debate as to what is free to play and what is not free to play. It's very simple. It's a damn gosh game. Let's not debate about this anymore. Uh, shout out to my boy Warren as well. His video inspired me to make this video, so for sure, I really encourage you guys to check out the video because this man did beat Boss Rush uh, Super 1 and 2 with a free to play team. For sure, check out the video down below. I think I hope I remember like that. Uh, so shout out to my boy Warden. Guys, like, share, comment down below. See you next time. Bye-bye.